Hi everybody, I'm so excited to have you here for today's video. We are going to be working with the brand new Tech Wrap Color Change Cold Vinyl. Now this comes in nine different colors. It's really fun to work with and you can do so much with it. Now this is a permanent vinyl made for hard surfaces. So keep that in mind when choosing the project that you want to use these for. Now we're gonna be doing a Libby Cup Wrap and I have free templates available on my website, which I will link down below for you. You can just simply grab those and it's gonna help you make your templates really, really fit with your design. Now, I do make a mistake in this video, but you know I'm not perfect and I usually tend to try to leave that stuff in. I forgot to resize my design, but I do show you how to resize it, but I had already cut it in the big size. No big deal, I just sort of pivoted and I'm gonna show you how to do that. That way, if you ever make a mistake, you don't have to waste your materials. We're also gonna talk about the cut settings with this and don't forget that anytime you order anything from TechRap, to use code Corinne10 to save. Now let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we'll need to do is to upload the image that we wanna use for our design. So you simply just click upload and then you're gonna click upload image and browse. We're gonna use this rose flower. So I'm gonna select that and click continue. Now I'm gonna show you something really quick so that you can see why we're doing what we're doing. If I just remove the background right now and click preview, you see how like fuzzy it is around the edges? It's not gonna cut very well. So a quick little trick to that is to simply go down to color tolerance and you may need to play with this number, but I always just start with 100, then click and remove the background again and then preview it and look at that, it's like perfection. No like jagged edges, this is gonna work really, really well. So now all I have to do is click apply and continue. And I want to save this as a single layer because we're cutting it. So if you don't know what this is yet, I'll just go over it really quick. Flat graphic is for print then cut and then multiple layers is if you had an image that had multicolors and you wanted the Cricut to create a layered design for you. But we're just using this as single layer. Now here you could just save it into like a collection or whatever, a folder, whatever you wanna do, I'm not doing that. Now I do wanna make this a little bit smaller just so we can see it. And the other thing that I wanna do with this is I actually want to cut the leaves out of a different color of my um, vinyl. So in order to do that, we can do this a couple of different ways. So let me show you the different ways that you can do this because there's so many ways and so many options. So the first one I'm gonna show you is the contour option. And this can only be performed if the portions of your design that you want to take away are not connected to the other. So they're single pieces by themselves. So for example, our leaves are completely alone. So what you wanna do is duplicate your design so that you have two on the screen select one of them and go down to contour. And for this one, I'm gonna remove the leaves off of this one by just clicking on them and you'll see over here, the leaves are gone. Then for this one, I'm gonna click contour. And for this one, you need to click all these pieces of the rows. So this center section here, anything that isn't the leaf, and then you can close that. I'll change the colors so you can see that they are separate pieces. So now we've got these separate parts that you can work with independently. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it when you upload them. So we're gonna click upload and we're gonna upload our image and we'll again browse for that same design, that same rose. Click continue and again, I wanna modify that color tolerance to 100. This time I'm gonna remove the background but then I'm also going to click and remove each of these leaves. Now this is not usually my favorite way to do it because you can see that if I zoom in a little bit, there's still some like black gunk here. And that's not true for every image, but it happens quite often. So what you'll do is click erase and you can just use your little eraser tool to get rid of those. Now, like I said, this one's a little more tedious than just using the contour option, 
But if you've got a section that maybe isn't able to be contoured, this is an option and a way to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these little dots down here. And you would do the same thing, but you would just do it where you removed all the pieces of the rows instead of the leaves. And now you can see that we're just left with the rows and you would just click continue, click upload, and then you would do the same thing, but next time only keeping the leaves. Now, there is another way to do this, and this is another option. I'm gonna go ahead and just add the rows back in, and I'll size it down again so that we can see it. And I'm gonna go ahead and hide the colored one that we just did, just so we have a little more room. Now, what you can do is use your slice option to remove your different parts. What I'm gonna do, and this one doesn't require us to duplicate, which is nice, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to shapes and I'm gonna open whatever shape I want. It doesn't really matter, but what we need to do is get it so that it covers just the leaf. So this circle is perfect because I can kind of stretch it around that leaf. Now, keep in mind, if you wanna use slice, you can only use it with two layers. So because our rose is only one single layer, we're able to go ahead and just simply slice. I can just click slice and now you'll see that I have the gray oval that we don't need. We also have a gray leaf that we don't need and then we have this black leaf fully separated. You'll have to do it again for the other set of leaves. So again, I'm just gonna open up a circle. Now, sometimes you can't get it to fit perfectly. Like you see how this one's kind of a little bit of a cattywampus shape and every time I go to stretch it, it's gonna cover parts I don't want to slice. I'm gonna show you a quick trick because it's so easy. All I wanna do is I'm gonna duplicate this circle that I just made and I'm gonna move it over and then I'm just gonna kind of manipulate it so that it will cover the section I need it to without it covering any of the rows that I don't want it to uh, like slice away. And now we have two circles. So what we need to do is select both circles and go down to combine and weld them. That makes them one layer. So now we have this weird shape, but it covers the leaf that we want to slice. So you can see there's our leaf and then our uh, little circle covers that. Now what you do is select your weird little circle shapes, your rows, and you can slice that away as well. And now what you're gonna be left with is your leaves. So you've got your little black leaves. I did miss a teeny little spot, but that's okay. Since I'm just showing you how to do this, I'm not really worried. Then you can just recolor these any way that you want to again. And that is an option for working with the slice. So there's a lot of different ways that you can change up your designs however you want to. And then again, we just have the other one here that has the, um, this was the one that we used to contour. So I would just say do whichever one works best for you and the way you want to design. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one just cause I'm gonna use the one that I uh, contour just because that leaves are held together. Now that is going to waste a little bit of vinyl, but I'm okay with it. I'm not super worried about it. I think it'll be just fine. Now I want to bring in another item to my design because I'm going to be making a Libby cup wrap with these roses. I think it's going to be really fun with the color change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to upload. Now I already have mine in my recent uploads, but if you want the Libby cup wrap, I'll link it down below, but you can also just comment cup wrap down below and I'll send you the link directly in a comment. Um, but I think if I search cup wrap, it comes up, but I always forget. Yep, cup wrap. So right here, I've got um, my cup wrap template. I also have the 20 ounce available in the templates that you get, but I'm using a 16 ounce glass. So all I have to do is add this to my canvas and then I can just view my canvas. And now this is where we're gonna be able to fit our design for our cup. And this will just help us size everything. Now, a quick little trick that you can do, because obviously our leaves are separate from our rows. Let me move this out of the way. Get your leaves where you want them on your rows. And then I want you to select the rows and the leaves. And then you can just use the group option. And what group does is that it holds your design together on your canvas. But when you go to make it on your design space, like mats, um, it won't hold them together. So it also won't like change their color. Now, obviously, I need to size my rows down. It's way too big to go on my template. And I also want to make sure that my template is in the background. So it is. Now, keep in mind when you're doing this that you are, of course, 
going to have um, like some spacing where you want it. You can do this however you want to and make it however you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a couple of roses. You can size the roses differently if you want. It's really up to you. And the thing is, I'm gonna have a rose that's gonna hang off the side because it is going to come over into this section so that they look like they match up pretty nice and neat. Now I'm just using Control C, Control V, which is copy and paste. Now these words are kind of getting in my way. So if you don't want to see the letters, just change your operation from um, print and cut to basic cut. And then you can like change the background color to like anything that you want to help you see what you're doing. Um, that kind of hurts my eyes. So I'm just gonna do like a light gray. Now again, do whatever you want to this, make it however you want, uh, design it, do your thing. I think I'm going to make this kind of like Alice in Wonderland themed a little bit. So I might put a little quote in the middle. I don't know yet. I'm going to play with the roses first and kind of get them laid out where I want them. And again, you do you, you don't have to do it exactly the way I'm doing it, but you do what you want. Um, one thing I will say is make sure that your roses don't go over the bottom or top of your template, because if they do, they will end up getting um, onto the like the curved part of your cup and we don't want that. So I'm just gonna kind of arrange them in like a pattern and then I'll go from there and see if I want to add a quote or anything else to this just to like add a little pizzazz. It's up to you and the way you want it to look. But I think that looks pretty cute. I don't mind it. Now we can always add other things to this if you wanna fill up some more space, you do you. But I'm gonna go ahead and think about a quote and if I wanna do that and um, then we can move on and make our cup. So after thinking about it a couple minutes, I think I wanna do a little quote on here. So I do need to move the roses, resize them, and that's completely okay if you like decide that you wanna do something different. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my little text, and that way I can play around with the sizing of my roses. So I simply just add a text box. Now, sometimes Design Space loves to just do weird things where it's like, oh, hey, we're gonna put this text box in a really weird spot and it's just gonna be like way down here. Uh, it's fine. And then the text box that I have, I used a different kind of text in. So for just a second, I'm just gonna grab whatever like font I see and just type with that one. It doesn't matter what it is right now. Um, I'm gonna change it once I kind of get my quote written out and figure out how I want it to look. So I want my quote to say summer is, and I, Design Space has been driving me nuts with the text box lately. Um, it'll delete it sometimes. And I want this to say summer is in, and I want it to say bloom, but I'm gonna do bloom in a script font. So the first thing I need to do is of course, figure out what font I want to use. Now I'm gonna show you like right here, you can kind of scroll through all your fonts if you want to, but I like to use wordmark.it because I find that that helps me choose a font better, but I know for a fact I'm gonna use the Pink Vibes Sans and the Pink Vibes on this one, just cause I think that's such a cute font. I'll link it down below. I got it, I think it created Fabrica, don't quote me. Um, but I really like that font. I think it's super cute and it's nice and bold. So it'll look really good on your cup. Now you can see how it's kind of jumping around my screen. It's just being a little bit weird. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna add another text box and this one's gonna say Bloom. And then I'm gonna go back to my text and choose the pink vibes with the script font because I want the bloom to be in a script. So once I kind of figure out how big I want bloom to be versus the summer is in, I can kind of play with this around and how I want it to look. Now I could always do like summer is in bloom and I can change the alignment and do it to the left and then do it like this. You do however you wanna do it. I don't like it like that. I'm gonna do the summer is in in one line. So I'm just gonna undo. Now I've done a quite a bit of work. So the first thing I'm gonna do before I start really messing with this is click save and I'm gonna call it my summer rose cup and click save. That way I don't have to go through and do all like the uh, rose work again or the text again. I can just sort of play with this and figure out how I want it to look. Now again, do how you wanna do it. If you want this centered, if you want it off to the side, I think I want these two to be centered. So I'm gonna align them and I'm gonna center them horizontally. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach them. They're gonna be the same color, so I just wanna attach them. Now, I wanna figure out where I want this on my uh, cup, and I want it just centered in the middle, so I'm gonna select both of these. I'm gonna select the template, and the summer is in bloom. And what I can do with that is again, use the align tool. Now, sometimes it doesn't like to like grab both things. That's okay, just grab them again. And I'm gonna use this center option down here and that's just going to put that right in the middle. Now, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and um, pull this down, this attach section, all the way under the roses. That way I can move the roses around and kind of figure out where I want those placed so that they're not like in the way of the summer is in bloom section. I want that by itself. Now that could also mean going ahead and actually removing some flowers. Now I've noticed here that for some reason it has attached some of my flowers. It's like grouped some stuff together when I pulled it down. Um, if that happens, just go ahead and ungroup it and then you can just click this flower again over here and group it. Sometimes Design Space does some weird stuff. But I do think that I need to size my flowers down just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is size one of them and I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and remove all the rest and just start over. Sometimes when you're designing, you just make a decision and you have to change and that's okay. So I think I want like a 1.5 inch flower and I think that's perfectly fine. So I'm using control C and control V to duplicate my flowers. And the first thing I'm gonna do is lay them out around my words to kind of figure out where I want them to sit. And I can always resize my words if I want to. It's, again, do you. Make this however you want it to be. This does not have to be in a perfect pattern. Roses do not grow in a perfect pattern. So if you want them to be a little bit messier, you do that, you do whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna just go ahead and kind of lay a bunch of them out. And I don't know that I'm gonna end up with like a perfect pattern, but I do kind of want it to be a little bit more patterned. So I'm just gonna lay these out. And again, I'm gonna have some of them that are gonna kind of go over the edge. I think I need to move this one down a little bit just so it's more like that. And then like this one, I'm gonna move over and then I'm gonna put one right here. And I think that will probably be a pretty decent like amount of roses. I just sort of wanna like move them around a little bit, figure out what I want. See if maybe I want to add one down here. I think that's too much. I don't like it. But I want these two to go over the edge because then they're going to come over here and fill in a little bit of that space. Now I'm just going to change this to any color that I want. I think that looks pretty good. I think that's sort of the vibe that I'm going for. Now, one thing we need to do is I'm gonna go ahead and hide our template because I don't wanna use that part at all. We're not gonna cut that out or anything. And now the other thing is I need to debate if I want to save vinyl and lay all of this out by myself or whether I'm okay wasting some vinyl and attaching all of our roses together. So let me go ahead and save this really quick and I'll show you what I mean. So right now, if I were to click make it, what's gonna happen is it's going to put all my roses and my leaves together on my vinyl so that they are saving vinyl. So you can see here, we've got all of our roses and then all of our leaves. That does save us quite a bit of vinyl doing it that way, but that means that you're gonna have to line this up on your cup by yourself. So if you wanted your pattern to be exactly the way you have it here, what I would do is I'm gonna click on our text and I'm gonna hide that for just a second. Once I've done that, the other thing I have to do is ungroup each of my roses because we wanna attach like colors. So sometimes this can be a little bit of extra work, but it's worth it in the long run if you don't wanna have to line these up. So all I'm doing is selecting each group and choosing ungroup. And you'll see how my layers panel, it's adding all these additional layers. So I just wanna go through and click every group and I want to ungroup those groups, which I know sounds insane, but trust me, you have to do it this way. And then what I wanna do is I wanna select only my red parts. So there's a couple ways to do that, which makes it really easy. You can either just select them all over here while holding shift on your keyboard 
or what you can do is hide all the parts that you don't want to select, which basically is all of our green leaves. So it's up to you how you want to do it. I personally like to just grab them all on my uh, layers panel because hiding all the parts sometimes can be kind of a pain. And it's really easy to tell which piece is the red versus the green. So you're just gonna hold shift and click each of them over on your keyboard. I just find this works easier than trying to click them over here. Once you have all the red pieces selected, you can go ahead and click attach. Once you have the one section attached, just hide that section, draw your big square around all your green, and then you can attach that as well. Then you can unhide the roses and your quote and before we move on and go to make this, we need to resize it. And I'm going to be honest with you, I accidentally cut it too big, but I'm going to show you kind of how to correct that uh, issue if you do that. But I'm going to show you how to resize it the correct way. So I want to show my template again. And you'll notice that my template has some sizing on it. It's hard to see. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up to the front. Now I wanna put this in the front so we can see what it says. So I'm just gonna click bring it to front. Now I wanna select everything in my design, but the other thing is you'll notice that I've got some overhang, which we said we were fine with, but we need to just make sure we size this correctly. So I'm gonna just let that little leaf hang over just a little bit, it'll be fine. But we need to resize it so that it fits within this parameter that I have here because the design the cup wrap template never comes in the right size. So up here at the top, just change that width. Um, that width should measure 9.397. Now I have that little leaf, so I'm actually gonna let this measure 9.4 and it'll be fine. But you'll see that the measurement on the side should come down enough so that it'll fit on the cup perfectly. So now that we have it resized, we can delete this and we're ready to go because we've attached all of our like colors and we are ready to make. So we'll click make and we're going to show this on to the mats in the color that we're going to use. We're going to use red color change, a regular old yellow, and we're going to use a green color change. Now you're going to notice that when I cut these, I cut these on a 12 by 24 mat because I'm dumb and forgot to resize them. But like I said, we're going to re resize them. So you want to make sure that you do size them correctly. But I'm going to show you if you accidentally didn't resize like I did, that you can easily correct your issue and still end up with a really gorgeous cup, regardless of the fact that you maybe made a mistake because everybody makes mistakes and that's totally okay. I also need to do some test cuts because this is a vinyl I have not used yet, this color change vinyl. Now I will tell you with my test cuts, I did find out that it cuts with the vinyl setting with more pressure and that seemed to work really well for me. So that might be a good starting point for you, but definitely make sure that you do some test cutting. I wanted to show you what we got with this box with our cold color changing uh, vinyl because we got a bunch of neat stuff. And now keep in mind, it is cold in my house right now. Um, these are in the basement, so it's pretty chilly. So they're probably gonna be uh, changed color. So this one is pink and it changes from like a, a white. Can you see that? Really cool. So we got pink. This one is green. This one here is the orange. We also have a yellow and some of them will change more than others just based on where they were in the box too. This is the red and you can see how red that really is. Really pretty. We got some transfer tape. And we, this is the purple, which is gorgeous. And then we also got a squeegee, always helpful. So we got a bunch of stuff, but today the colors we're gonna work with, we're gonna use the green and the uh, green and the red. And then I'm gonna just use like a regular uh, vinyl for the wording. Cause like I said, I want it to look like it's blooming. So I'm gonna do some test cuts, let you know what these cut on best, and then we'll cut out our design. So I've cut my tech wrap down, but one thing you need to note is some of their vinyls, so some types have a protective coating on them and they will let you know, but it's only on the front sticker. So once you kind of peel that off, you're never gonna remember. So just always check for it. And it's just this clear sheet and it's just to protect it from scratching or damage. So we wanna make sure we take that off and you can tell I've been handling this cause now it's turning all white. So what I'm gonna do, I'm using a long mat. I did cut this vinyl down though, so that it was not gonna just take the whole mat. 
And so I'm going to go ahead and lay this on to my 12 by 24 inch mat. And I did cut this longer than I needed, but that's okay. No big deal. I'm going to load this in. Now I told you I'd tell you what the cut setting was. It is vinyl with more pressure for my machine. So I would, for you guys, start your test cut on regular vinyl, see how it does. Then if it's just not quite there like mine was, go for vinyl with more pressure. beginning of the video I mismeasured before I cut and so therefore I'm not gonna be placing this around the cup like this because you can see it's too big which is fine this is one of those times where you pivot as a crafter and that's okay maybe you didn't measure perfectly the first time but we can still make it work without wasting vinyl and I'm gonna show you how to do that so I'm gonna be using some regular old transfer tape this is nothing fancy it's just a medium tape. Now the first thing I'm going to lay down is the Summer in Bloom. Um, I will be honest, I did recut this because the original one was enormous. It was way, way, way too big for our cup. So that had to be recut, but we can make the roses work. And I think this is a great lesson for anyone who does crafting that you can just fix it without having to recut as long as the item will still fit on your cup, which these will fit fine. We're just going to cut them up a little bit, which is totally okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this off my table and this is just the decal that we're gonna put on so summer is in bloom and I'm gonna lay this down and get the backing off this part should be pretty easy and we'll just get all that off and then what you want to do is lay this onto your cup now I'm using a squeegee to hold my cup in place and I'm just gonna place this as evenly as I can to my cup. And then I'm gonna go ahead and squeegee this on. So I'm just using my squeegee and I'm burnishing, which is what this pressing is called. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our transfer tape and you wanna roll it off of your decal. So I'm not pulling it straight up, I'm pulling it backwards and just rolling it back. Now you can see there's some parts that did wanna to stick. Totally okay, just place your transfer tape back down and then you just want to rub over that part a little bit harder. Now sometimes you can find that the felt side, if you have one of those, might work a little bit better. Just depends on what you're pressing it on and what you're using. So I'm going to just go really slow over these parts and I'm going to use my finger also to help them stay down a little bit. You can do that just simply by holding the edge of the vinyl as you're rolling off the transfer tape. So I'm just gonna do that right over here just to make sure everything stays down. It looks really cute, so that is adorable. I'm gonna set this back down onto my um, little squeegee and we're gonna be doing the little roses. Now they're hard to see because they're not color changed right now. They're just a really light pink at the moment. So I'm gonna do that thing again. I'm gonna burnish this down and I'm gonna do that really well, and then I'm gonna flip this over, and I wanna remove the backing from the vinyl. So again, I'm just rolling that backing off. And once you get the backing off, you can take and place your rose wherever you want it to go on your cup. It's truly up to you. There's no right or wrong place to put this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here. Again, I'm gonna burnish that down, and then I'm gonna take, and again, I wanna roll that transfer tape off of the rows very carefully and now we can grab a set of our leaves from our big page over here so all I'm gonna do is I took a little bit of the transfer tape and I just grabbed a set of leaves here in the corner and I'm just gonna burnish down and I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna make sure that those little leaves 
go on to my transfer tape. And then all I have to do is line them up with my rows. And I can just do the same thing. I'm going to push them down with my finger really quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and again, burnish this down like so. So that's one way to do it. So now we've got our little leaves and our rows. Now there's another option if you prefer. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the same piece of transfer tape. I'm gonna use this a bunch. I'm gonna get this rows burnished down on to this piece of transfer tape. And all I gotta do again, same thing, you're just gonna take this backing off. But instead of putting the rows onto the cup, you can come over here and put it with a set of the leaves and you just line it up however you want it. And then you just burnish this down with the leaves. Then flip this over and again, we're gonna roll this off so that the leaves stay on to our transfer tape. Ooh, we got one leaf that didn't wanna stay. That's okay, just roll it back on. And then you can take and instead place the rows and the leaves all at the same time. So you do whichever way works best for you. It's not a right or wrong way. It's whichever way you want to do it. And there's no right or wrong way to lay these out on your cup. As long as you're happy with it, that's all that matters. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish laying out all of my little roses. Now we'll probably have some leftover, which is fine. I'll just save those and use those for something else. But I'm gonna go ahead and get all the roses laid out and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we put some cold water in it. This cold cup was so fun to make and I love how quickly the color changes. This would be really fun to use on so many different products, so don't think you just have to use it on a Libby cup, but any cup that will get cold on the outside will work really, really well. Now remember, if you decide to order with TechWrap, make sure to use code Corinne 10 that way you can save some money when you shop, which is always important. We know how expensive crafting can be. If you have any questions, let me know in those comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. I hope you all have a fantastic day and as always, happy crafting. Mm -hmm.